My beloved son, my beloved daughter, this morning, something important will move in the heavens, and it will directly reflect on your life. There are times when what seems uncertain becomes a clear and protected path. This message has come to you now to open your eyes and prepare your heart, because what worries you will be transformed. Have you ever felt that your heart, no matter how tired it is, holds a last flame of hope? Well, that flame has been placed there by me, and it is because of it that you will receive a gift that will go beyond understanding something that will make your fears become distant memories. These blessings are loaded with healing that will allow you to leave behind every pain, every loss, and every shadow you have faced. Write with faith. I am here, ready to welcome the Lord, my Father, into my life. But there is a secret. These promises will only reach the heart that remains with me, that does not look away, and that persists until the end of this message. So keep every word, because a new morning will come with the transformation that you have waited for so long. Right now as a pact, I trust and I hope in the promise of God. Comment on this phrase and stay firm for the dawn will find you here with an open heart. Only those who persevere will see the glory that I have prepared. Leave your likes on this video and subscribe to the channel. Declare your freedom by receiving the divine strength to win any battle. Son, sit here for a moment, take a deep breath, and listen to me with an open heart, as if it were just the two of us. Now, I see what you go through. Every difficulty you have faced, the sleepless nights, the unanswered questions. I know that sometimes it feels like you carry the world on your shoulders, that you are short of breath from so much weight. But son, don't forget, I'm here closer than you imagine. This hard phase you're going through is not the end. It's just a chapter in your story. I'm preparing something big, something that goes beyond what you can imagine. I promise you, son, that this phase is coming to an end and your reward will come along with the dawn. But for that, I need you to remain firm. That strength you think you've lost I will give you another one, an even greater one. It will make you rise in a new way. Comment. I trust in God and his plans for me. I want you to understand that sometimes my silence is not abandonment. It is preparation. You may not see it now, but I am already preparing every detail so that when this new time arrives, you will receive what you want so much. It's not a question of if it will happen. It's a question of when. I am paving the way, clearing the thorns, opening the path alone. I need you to trust a little more. Stay with me. Don't let go of my hand. Even if everything seems like a challenge, I know that the promises seem distant, that time seems long, and your patience is at its limit. But son, I know your heart better than you do, and I tell you, this pain you feel will be transformed into strength, and this weight will become a testimony. Right. I trust in you, God and keep this as a seal between us. Don't walk away from me now. It's now when I'm closer, preparing something you don't see yet, but that will make everything worth it. And if you need comfort, talk to me, vent, cry, tell me everything. I'm here to listen, 
Believe, when you think there's no one else. I am the invisible hand that holds you when everything seems to fall apart. I am the one who holds what is still standing when the world closes. I am the one who keeps the window open, giving you that last breath of hope. Now, I ask you one thing. Open your eyes to the new. What is coming is already on its way. And in this process, I want you to be grateful, not only for what is to come, but for what has already been overcome. Every battle has prepared you, every pain has shaped you, and every victory has strengthened you. Right, I am strong in you, God, because I love you. When this new time arrives, I want you to remember one thing. Everything I do is for the love of you. Every detail, every moment of waiting, everything is in my plan so that you understand how valuable you are. Comment here. I receive what is to come and accept what you prepare for me because I promise you, son, that when that moment comes, you will understand the meaning of everything. And don't forget, what is reserved for you has nothing to do with what the world promises. It is something uniquely special that only I, your father, could give you. That leaves your heart light. Accept my care and remember, your story is still being written and the best is just beginning. Stay with me with an open heart and prepare yourself, because what is coming will change everything, now that you know I am here. Let me tell you something special about what is coming. I have prepared for you a time of renewal, where everything that has brought you sadness will be transformed into learning, and where joy will have a firmer place in your life. But I need you to stay connected to me with an attentive heart and an open mind. Son, I know how difficult it is to trust when things don't seem to make sense. I know sometimes you feel like you're walking in the dark, trying to understand the path. But let me tell you, soon the light will make everything clear. Every tear you've shed is being collected. Every prayer you've said in silence, I've heard it, and I have not forgotten any request of yours. And you know that peace that seems impossible? I am bringing it to you, but in a way that perhaps you do not expect. It will not come as an escape from problems, but as a strength within you, a certainty that even in the storms, you have refuge. You will feel a relief, a calm, like a hug, soft, like a whisper in your ear. I am here with you, and I will carry you forward. Now, here is the truth that I want you to write in your heart. You are stronger than you think, and that strength does not come from you, but from me. I have guided you here and I will guide you to the end. Continue because God goes ahead and grabs this. When the difficult days return, you will remember that there is someone greater taking care of every detail. Oh, and there is something else I want to tell you. The love I have for you does not depend on anything you have done or failed to do. No matter how imperfect you feel, I see beyond all that. I see your heart, your desire to do good, to get it right, and I know that you have tried hard, even when it seems that no one does. I see, I recognize, and I am proud of you. So, son, raise your head, look forward, take a deep breath, and get ready. I am putting everything in its place, and you will see every little victory every moment of peace, 
every smile that will be born again on your face. All of this is the beginning of a new story, a story that I am writing with care, love, and purpose. Now comment. I accept the new story that God is writing. Let me see that you are here, firm in believing, even without knowing how everything will happen. Because I, your father, already know the end of this story. It is full of hope, full of light, and full of love. Stay with me, and we will live this together, son. While I write this new story, I want you to understand that every step you take is important. Every choice you make has weight, and I see how you try to follow the right path. Even in your failures, you will not be abandoned. Don't think that your mistakes diminish my love for you. I am the one who helps you get up, even when you think you don't deserve it. And you know part of this new story is learning to free yourself from what happened. I see your wounds, those pains that you carry and that sometimes you even try to hide from me. You think you should always be strong, but I am here to remind you. You don't need to face everything alone. Just give it to me. Trust me. I will take care of your burdens. My plan is to restore your heart, heal those wounds, and transform the marks of the past into signs of improvement. Right. I trust in God. Keep that in your heart, son, and know that you don't need to hide the scars anymore. I see them as signs of a journey full of courage, where you gave your best. Now about the future. I don't want you to think that everything will be easy, but I promise that you will never walk alone. The path will still have curves and challenges, but I will always be by your side. My presence strengthens you, and my peace guides you. I am taking care of the details, preparing meetings, opening doors, and putting in your path what will make you grow. And when the time comes, doubt and obstacles will arise. I want you to remember this conversation between us. Remember that I am holding your hand, and I will not let go. Right. God holds my hand and takes me where I should be. Repeat this every time fear or insecurity tries to take over you. Trust in me. I am in control, son. My promise is clear. Everything I have for you is good. It may take a while, but it does not fail. Wait on me even when it seems like nothing is changing. Sometimes the greatest transformations happen in silence, in patience, in waiting. Every moment of waiting is a seed planted that will soon bloom. So, hold on tight. The journey is not over yet, but the best is yet to come. Comment for yourself as a commitment. I trust in God and on the path he is preparing. Let's move forward together. I am taking care of you, guiding every step and nothing. Nothing at all will separate you from my love. I am here, and here I will always be, son. Now, I want to talk to you with a heart full of love and understanding about the wrong choices you made throughout your life. I know that many times those memories weigh on your heart and can make you feel bad about yourself. It is normal to feel this way. We all face times when our decisions do not reflect the best of us. The choices you made, especially those that hurt other people, can leave deep marks. 
Sometimes the pain we cause others becomes a burden we carry, and guilt can become a constant shadow in our lives. But I want you to know that those experiences do not define who you are. Every decision, even the ones that were not the best, is part of your growth. A valuable lesson that teaches you about empathy, respect, and love for your neighbor. I want you to reflect on this. When you make a mistake, it is an opportunity to learn and to be a better version of yourself. Life is a journey full of choices, and each one of them brings with it the opportunity for growth and change. It is normal to feel sadness when remembering how your choices affect others. However, do not let that weight stop you from moving forward. Regret is a natural emotion, but you can transform it into something positive. By recognizing the impact of your actions, you become more aware and capable of acting differently in the future. Remember that we are all human. We all make mistakes, and we all have the ability to change. You can feel sad for the hurts you caused, but you can also seek forgiveness from both yourself and the people you hurt. True transformation begins when you decide to forgive yourself and commit to making better choices moving forward. When you look back, don't do it with shame, but with gratitude for the lessons you learned. Every wrong choice is an opportunity to stand up and rewrite your life story. And remember, even in the most difficult situations, my love never fails. I am here to help you find the path of reconciliation and forgiveness. Life is a new opportunity with every dawn. Use this opportunity to build healthier and more meaningful relationships. Don't be afraid to open up and seek dialogue with those you have hurt. Remember, my choices do not define who I am. They are part of my learning journey, and when you feel lost, I will always be here, waiting for you to return to me. I am ready to guide you and show you that there is a path of hope and renewal. The future is a blank page, and you have the freedom to paint a new picture. Don't be afraid to live new experiences and make choices that reflect your true self. The path can be challenging, but the light of my presence illuminates every step you take. Let's transform together. Your wrong choices can become stories of love, improvement, and healing. I am with you always. I am your father, always present, always loving. I have placed a purpose within you that shines, even if sometimes it seems hidden. I am here to fill you with love and cover you with infinite kindness. I am in love. I am warm. I am the peace that your heart longs for so much. I am always with you, loving every step you take. Trust in me and in the power I have to realize the dreams I have put in your life. Treat your family and all those who support you with kindness. I have organized everything for your success, not so that you become selfish, but so that you can bless others. I will be your oasis in the desert, and all those who seek comfort and wisdom will come to you. Receive this divine love with joy, and thus you will be able to face any challenge that arises on your path. Speak sincerely, especially in the moments when you feel overwhelmed. You will see the light because all the worries that afflict you are being removed. I am cutting off the dry branches that block your growth. I have placed you on fertile soil so that you can flourish. My love for you 
is immense and eternal. You have incredible strength within you, capable of more than you ever dreamed. You are full of my spirit. You are loved beyond what you can imagine. If you want to achieve your dreams, you need to leave behind what weighs you down. Stay away from what prevents your progress. Your happiness does not depend on material things. It is true that you need resources to help others, but do not worry. I will take care of all your needs, providing you with everything without sadness or anxiety. You are thriving. Right. I am loved and protected by my Heavenly Father. Keep going, because I am always with you. Sometimes life seems like a bumpy road, with moments when doubt and sadness may feel heavy, like stones. But don't forget, I am here by your side, walking with you. My love is the light that illuminates your path, even when the clouds seem to cover the sun. You may feel alone, but know that I am always near, ready to take you in and offer comfort. When you reflect on your choices and realize that some of them have hurt people you love, it's natural to feel a weight on your heart. But remember, we are all imperfect beings, learning every day. Every mistake you make is a learning opportunity, an invitation to look within and discover the strength that is in you. Instead of blaming yourself, use that experience to grow and be an even better version of yourself. Imagine that each wrong choice is like a stone on the road. You can leave them there, or you can pick them up and use them as fuel to build something new and beautiful. Every pain, every misunderstanding can be transformed into a bridge to forgiveness and reconciliation. Don't hold on to what happened. Instead, look forward with hope, knowing that the future can be bright and full of possibilities. I want you to know that I am here to heal your wounds. When you feel the scars of the past run too deep, remember that true healing comes from an open heart. Talk about your pains. Share your struggles. In the silence of your heart, I will be listening ready to offer comfort and healing. Let love fill the empty spaces and joy replace sadness. Every time you choose to forgive yourself and others, you are making a powerful decision. Forgiveness is like a balm that heals not only those around you, but above all, it heals you. By releasing the weight of guilt and resentment, you allow a new flow of love and gratitude to enter your life. You are creating space for new experiences, new relationships, and an inner peace that is invaluable. Look at yourself fondly, recognize the struggles you've already overcome, and celebrate the small victories. Every day you decide to be kind to yourself is a step toward true freedom. You are stronger than you imagine and your heart has the capacity to love and renew itself, even after the deepest wounds. Life is made of changes, and each change brings with it the opportunity to reinvent yourself. Allow yourself to dream, even when it seems difficult. Your dreams are seeds of hope that can blossom into wonderful realities. I am the gardener who takes care of your heart watering your aspirations and protecting your dreams. When you feel discouraged, remember that I am here, waiting to see you grow. Never forget that there is nothing impossible when you trust me. Together we can face any storm. I am your safe haven in times of uncertainty, the strength that sustains you when you feel weak. At the end of each day, look back and see how many blessings you have received. 
even in the little things. My love is revealed in them, always present and never absent. Every choice I make is a new opportunity to reset and shine. Life is a precious gift, full of moments that often go unnoticed in the rush of everyday life. It is easy to get lost in the worries of the future or in memories of the past, but today, I want you to stop for a moment and breathe. Feel the beauty of this moment. Here and now is where life really happens. Sometimes, the rush and obligations can make us forget what really matters, the little things that bring joy. Look around you. Observe the vibrant colors of nature. The smile of a friend. The smile of a friend, the warm hug of a loved one. These are the moments that warm our hearts and remind us that we are loved. It is easy to let routine consume us, but cultivating mindfulness allows us to enjoy the present. This is where we find true happiness. Gratitude is a powerful tool. When you begin to be grateful for the little things, like a hot coffee in the morning or the sunlight streaming through the window, you open the doors to a new perspective. Gratitude transforms the way you see the world. It brightens even the cloudiest of days and helps us realize that even in difficulties, there is always something to be grateful for. Remember that life is a journey and every step you take is a learning opportunity. Sometimes you may feel lost or discouraged, but know that I am here, watching your every movement. I am here to remind you that every challenge brings a lesson, and every lesson is an opportunity for growth. Do not be afraid to allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to grow. Today, I choose to live with gratitude and joy. At the end of each day, set aside time to reflect on what you have learned, about the people who have crossed your path, and about the small joys that have occurred. When doing this, you will begin to perceive the love that surrounds every moment of your life. Furthermore, remember that you are not alone on this journey. I am always by your side, ready to guide and support you when you need to. When you feel lost, come back to me. Open your heart in prayer and allow the peace that passes all understanding to fill your soul. Love is the essence of who we are. It is the force that unites us, the drive that compels us to care for each other. Spread love and kindness because that's what really matters. A simple gesture of kindness can transform someone's day, who knows even their life. Remember that every new day is a new opportunity to start anew. Every morning is a reminder that life is full of possibilities. Let hope guide your steps and have faith that great things are to come. Keep your heart open to receive what the universe has to offer you, and always remember, I am here, loving you unconditionally, today and always. Now, I want you to reflect on the power that resides within you. Many times, you may feel small before adversity, but the truth is, that I have placed incredible power within each of my children. That strength does not come from yourself, but from the connection we have. It is when you surrender to me that true transformation occurs. Remember that the battles you face do not define who you are. They are simply part of your journey experiences that shape you and prepare you for what is to come. You are a warrior and each fight 
teaches you something valuable. When you look back, you will see that each challenge overcome was a stage that brought you closer to me, stronger and wiser. Sometimes you may feel overwhelmed by the expectations of the world. It's easy to get lost in the voices that scream for attention, the ones that say you need to be perfect or that you are never enough. But I want you to know that in my eyes, you are more than enough. You are loved just as you are, with all your imperfections and struggles. Every detail of your life matters to me. If you feel my love enveloping you, know that the blessings I am preparing for you are immense. They may not come the way you expect, but believe that I am always preparing the best for you. Sometimes it is necessary to cross a desert to reach the promised land. Do not fear. Difficulties are temporary and always bring with them a lesson. Imagine a beautiful flowered field where each flower represents a blessing on the way. Those flowers may be hidden, but they are about to bloom in your life. I am here, guiding you so that you can see them. What you need to do is keep your eyes open and your heart receptive. Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to believe that good things are to come. This is the first step to receiving them. When the clouds of doubt try to darken your vision, remember that I am the light that shines in the darkness. When you feel lost, Look within and search for the faith that lives in you. It is that faith that will open paths where none exist, that will make you see solutions in the midst of chaos. And more importantly, it is that faith that will bring you peace in the midst of the storm. I want you to know that every prayer you make is heard. Don't think your words are lost in the air. They reach me, and I receive them with affection. I am here, answering. Even if you don't see the answers immediately. My way of acting may be different from what you imagine, but each answer comes at the right time. You may not understand now, but everything that happens in your life is part of my divine plan. I trust that you affirm your trust in me. I am here to support you every step of the way. When you feel powerless, seek the help I offer you. Prayer is your dialogue with me. It is the way you can vent your frustrations, your fears, and your desires. Open your heart and talk to me. I am always ready to listen. Now, as you reflect on all of this, Remember that you are part of something bigger. Each of you has a unique and special purpose. Your life is not an accident. It has a deep and essential meaning. Many times the path may seem winding, but every curve has a reason, and every detour takes you to a place of learning and growth. When you face difficult situations, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? This change in perspective can bring the light you need to continue. Sometimes challenges are opportunities in disguise. They teach us to be more resilient, to value the little things, and to have gratitude for the blessings we often take for granted. So, as you move forward on this journey of life, Remember that I am always here. Hold on to my hand and keep going, even when the path seems uncertain. I am preparing a beautiful future for you, full of opportunities, love, and joy. And when the day comes that you look back, you will see how all the pieces fit together, how every difficult moment had a purpose and how you can witness my faithfulness in your life. 
I am here to love you, guide you, and make you a testimony of my goodness. Comment, I am a witness, if you want to be proof of my love and my grace. Allow yourself to believe in miracles and prepare your heart to receive them. Together we will build a beautiful story, and I will be by your side every step of the way. Trust me, for I am the gardener who takes care of this sacred space that is your family. With every laughter and joy you share, I bring vibrant colors and melodies of love. The future I have for you is full of blessings and opportunities. Allow me to work on your relationships, opening doors that you never imagined were possible. Their faith is the key that can unlock those doors and lead them to a family life full of happiness and harmony. Write 0707 for your trust in me. Remember, restoring family ties may require time, patience, and continuous effort. By following these principles, you will be walking towards strengthening your bonds. Pray for my wisdom and guidance in this process, trusting in my grace to transform your family. Write, God will provide, and share this with all members of your family. I have entrusted you with the responsibility to love, protect, and provide. When I say that those who do not take care of their own are worse than the unfaithful, I am emphasizing the seriousness of this responsibility. You are called to be examples of love and compassion, showing the love of Christ in your lives. Taking care of your family goes beyond meeting their material needs. It is about being emotionally present, listening carefully, and celebrating together. It is about building a home where respect and communication reign. Do not forget that taking care of the family is not limited to blood ties. As part of my family, you have the responsibility to care for each other within the Christian community. Love and help your brothers and sisters in the faith by reaching out and supporting them when needed. Why is this so important? Because family care reflects your relationship with me. When you care for your own, you are living the love I have poured into your hearts. You are called to be witnesses of my transformative power, and that includes taking care of those who are close. Write, I fight for my family to receive my word and leave as an agent of change. I see your dedication in taking care of yours, always seeking the best for them. You have sought my guidance and persevered in hope. Now is the harvest time. I will open the treasures of heaven and pour upon you an abundant provision. The financial doors will open and blessings will flow into your life in unexpected ways. You will feel a supernatural flow of resources sufficient to meet all the needs of your family. Believe and see my power in action. Just as I blessed my servant Job, who persevered in difficulties, I will also bless you beyond what you can imagine. Your faith and hope will be rewarded abundantly. Write 0909 if you believe that the best moments of your life are yet to come. Today, let your light shine. Manifest the inner light that lives in you through your actions and words. Be a source of comfort, encouragement, and optimism. With your smile and your example of faith, you can touch the lives of others around you. Let us pray together. Dear God, our loving Father, today our hearts are filled with gratitude and adoration for you. 
we recognize that you are the God who cares for our family, always loving, compassionate, and merciful in all circumstances. In moments of joy or difficulty, you are with us, wrapping us in your love. Our family is a precious gift you have given us. Pour your blessings on our family ties, strengthen our relationships, and grant wisdom to face challenges. We know that it is not always easy to maintain harmony. Sometimes our words are wrong and our actions are selfish. We ask for your forgiveness and grace to deal with these situations. Help us to be patient and loving following Jesus' example. When we feel lost or confused, guide us, Lord. You know the needs of each member of our family and you know what each one faces. Guide and grant discernment to make decisions that honor your name. Father, we are grateful for your constant presence in our lives. We know that you are by our side, holding us with your loving hands. In moments of sadness, you comfort us, and in moments of joy, you make us even happier. Let each one of us be an instrument of your peace, bringing harmony wherever we go. We ask that you restore broken relationships, heal wounds, and sow forgiveness in our hearts. Let your grace overflow in our home, building bridges of love and overcoming obstacles. We recognize that we depend on you and trust in your power. Even in difficult times, we know that you have a perfect plan for each of us. In the name of Jesus, who is the center of our home, we pray that our words and actions be a testimony of your love. May your presence be felt in every moment we share with you. God of love, we trust our lives and our family to you. Amen.